Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brad, and my hands is Factory Summers by Guy Delee, published by Drawn and Quarterly. Uh, so I, I haven't gotten a look at how many uh, video reviews of Guy Delee I've done. I don't think there's too many, but he is one of my favorite cartoonists out there. I always look forward to anything he publishes, so super excited to get this latest release. Um, so, he's a really fascinating uh, cartoonist in that he, his material is really just kind of reflections in his uh, observations throughout life. Uh, each is a story of that he kind of experienced himself, or he did experience himself. Uh, he's done books on parenting, uh, his times in Pyongyang working in animation, uh, Trip to Jeru Jerusalem I think was one of them. Uh, and this one's about his working in a factory in the summers while he finished off school. And it's it's fascinating. I mean, it's one of those that you kind of get to the end and you're like, what was the point of it? Uh, you know, it, it, it's not, you know, the, the observations are, are interesting and all that, but this isn't one that really has like a story arc. It's just summer after summer of his working in this factory and his experiences and kind of his observations working in it and, and that's it. It's, uh, you know, there's nothing I would say is super complicated. There's nothing shocking in it, um, but it's just this study and not quite monotony, but just the everyday work these people do. Um, interesting enough though, his father also works in this factory and I think that's kind of where part of the examination of the graphic novel gets really interesting is, you know, you, it, it really is on a surface just this examination of his working in this factory and the people he works around, uh, but then his father as well, like he, though they work in the same place um, and at times the same shift, they're still worlds apart. Uh, his father divorced his mother at some point, uh, they were those parents separated, I don't know if he actually says divorce, but they were separated at some point. Um, assuming divorce, and his father, um, I don't know, it's, it became a hermit isn't quite the right way of putting it, but he, his father became slightly detached, and, um, you know, there, there's a lot of discussions about his father having troubles um, interacting with people, so I think, if, if anything, it's, it's a really interesting story of, of sons following in their father's footsteps, and even though they're literally, you know, hundred feet apart, they're still unable to communicate. And there's something I think really interesting in that, um, that the, these individuals that Guy has so little in common with, other than the work they're doing, um, he is able to interact and, um, you know, have relationships more with them than his own father. And I, I think that's part of the point of it, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, but if nothing else, it's a really interesting graphic novel about working in a paper mill. Um, lots of just information of how paper is made and um, the work that goes into it and it's just it's it's really interesting uh, you know it, it, as, as usual uh, Dilly makes what I'll call like boring subjects really really fascinating um, he just has a, a, a there's a brilliance in his observation um, and he's able to take simple things and create a narrative out of them um, and a really interesting narrative on top of it like you know it's it's just one of those like you could probably do an entire graphic novel of someone like picking in oranges out of display at a supermarket like that's just the way he works and where his talent lies um, there's just there's something about how he how he frames things how he spins it how he brings the narrative and, and, and all of it has just like a sly humor about it it's just it's really amazing work um, his style is, I mean, his style is his style. Like, I, I can't think of anyone that's even close to it. Uh, it's very distinctive. You know, I can look at something and be like, yep, that's, that's Guy Uh, and, you know, it's, it's clearly, it's clearly him. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot more detail, I think, in this than maybe some of his other books, which is really interesting. Um, and it's, you know, of course, black and white. But a little bit of that yellowish orange as well. Here we go. Learn about how we how paper gets moved. Uh, so overall, like it's just it's a fascinating, fascinating read. As I said, like I I've, I've been super pumped ever since that this was announced. Um, I think I've had it on order for for months at this point because I've been so excited about it. 
and um, yeah, it's just it, it's it's great. It's, I mean, it's another really fascinating read from a fascinating creator. So. Uh, out now in comic shops and bookstores, you can go get it. Uh, go support your local comic shop. We've got a link beneath this video. Open your zip code or tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage by doing that. It helps support our site, so thank you. Uh, and just watching our videos, you support us, so thank you for that. I really appreciate that. If you're into graphic novels, if you're into comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time. Keep reading those comics and keep a kiki. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.